Hey, what is up everyone? I am Mrs. Collins and I'm coming at you with another helpful video. So let's talk about how not to hate CERs. Now I know what you're thinking. Uh, is this another CER review? Yes, yes, in fact it is another CER review. But don't worry, I'm going to make this quick and easy for you and if you follow these four steps, you will be very successful the next time you write a CER. So I want you to pay attention. Number one, find the answer. Before you write anything, you need to figure out what the answer is. But don't forget the whole point of a CER is to use what we have been learning in the classroom to scientifically answer a question. So you can use your brain. In most cases, you will use the content you just learned in class to, on this assignment to answer the CER. Number two, write your claim in a simple statement with the answer. It's not complicated. Simply just restate the question and include the answer. You write a complete sentence and write a complete statement and keep it very simple. Let's take a look at these examples. Which one do you think will get all three points? This one is not hard. They go in order. If you pick the top one, you were th probably thrown off because it is so long. It's the longest answer, but it does not restate the question and the answer is incorrect. The second one is the correct answer, but it does not restate the question getting only two points. The last one is the correct answer as it simply restates the question and it has the correct answer. Rule number three, prove your answer is correct by providing evidence. Imagine it is the thing you are pointing to as you said, see, I told you. So where do we get this evidence? Don't forget, we are new to this process, so I will give you all the resources that you need. Using something else like Google is a sure way to get a lower score. This could be a quote, a picture, graph, data, or even a diagram. Now, you do have to have words here, but it is not a full explanation. It is only a description of what you are pointing out. Do not explain why it is there, just what is there. Think of it as a title or a caption underneath whatever you are using. Let's look at some examples of evidence. Now right away, you probably can point out the one that is worth three points, but let's take a look at each of these a little closer. The last one tells me what was observed, but does not show it, nor does it have an answer. The first one has the correct answer, but does not give evidence. This person just wants me to take their word for it. The middle one, of course, the one with the most points, shows two pictures and underneath identifies what we are looking at. Notice it does not explain anything or explain the reasoning, it only shows and describes what we are looking at. Now, we're almost there. We have one more final rule, so hang in there. The last and the most important rule is the fourth rule. Explain why the evidence is the answer. So after you pointed to the proof and you said to your friend, see, I told you, but then your friend responds and says, I don't get it. This is what you are saying to your friend to explain what it is that they're looking at. This is the section that matters the most to me as I'm waiting to see you use the vocabulary that we learned in class and explain it in a relevant way scientifically. So it's important that you define all the terms. Not sure what terms to use? Go back to the question. Go back to the vocabulary that we used in the notes and in the reading. Explain why your evidence is good. How does it connect to the claim? Go back and restate your claim. So focus on the vocabulary, your evidence, and in your statement, using your claim again. Remember, 
always connect the evidence and the claim. So let's look at some more examples. Here are three examples. Tell me what you think. The second one is just wrong. The first quarter moon would be going backwards. So let's cross that one out. The first one gets two points because it's good, but it's missing information. The connection to the vocabulary. The last one is perfect. It says the answer, uses vocabulary, references the evidence that was given, then ends with restating the claim. The perfect response. So hopefully you are feeling a little bit more confident about your writing when it comes to a CER. I want to thank you so much for your time and attention. Until next time, bye.